Well, the energy um, is it's massive and it's uh, just the, the history and tradition and uh, yeah, just the, the energy. It's just the closest place to me that has the type of energy that New York has. Okay. But it's, uh, I have to be careful, it's a bit, it's a bit more dignified here, I would say. I like that. What in its style, in its decor, you know, our kind of English manner and things, or what is that? <laughs> it could that? be all the Rolls, yeah, yeah. the Rolls Royces, you know. <laughs> well, I just saw a pink limousine, so I don't know how. But uh, do we have that liquid spirit? Because I want us to be, sometimes there can be a heavy energy in London, like, you know, yeah. on the tube, mm -hmm. lack of smiling and joy. Yeah. You know, I haven't gotten any of that. Really? Everybody is just, uh, yeah. Yesterday I was lost. Okay. Um, trying to find my way to China, Chinatown. Yeah. Which apparently is very easy to find, but I was lost walking around it's, in circles. That's amazing. And everywhere I went, people were like, um, first they saw that I was lost. And then secondly, they were like, oh, you're a great reporter. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the fact that they were, first, they, they saw me just looking up into the sky, trying, looking for street names. Yeah. And everybody was, was gracious. They were gracious. Everybody showed me the wrong direction. But oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but with such confidence. Yeah, with such confidence and sweetness. Like, <laughs> oh, well, well, all right. Let me tell you which way to go. And there were sometimes they got me. Sometimes there was enough. The, the pressure was there. <laughs> and I was like, mm, okay. And the same result. But that's yeah. living there as yeah, well. Yeah, that, that, that is living. And then there's a point where I made those choices. And those songs became Fill Me In, became Rewind, yeah. became Walking Away. It's like... I look back in hindsight now and it was because of making that choice and it's the mm. same thing like I did for him being in Miami. I made a choice and I was like, you know what? I was trying to maybe complete myself over there, thinking that the lifestyle and everything was going to give me what I wanted. Yeah. And yeah. that's kind of where... I mean, because when the bass line drops, we are right back into classic Craig David, like in terms of vibe, production, the energy, like it's so you, unmistakably, it's your sound. And why was it important to come back on that tip? Like, to, to make it, it's almost like a statement of intent, like a really fighting mm. return. So, tell me a little bit about why you wanted to come from that position and like, to come back to us. Do you know what it was? Is like, I recognised that there was a point in my career where I was trying to push and force things. Yeah. Have That's you nice. done a cover before? No, no never. Ah, oh, happy days. Yeah. How does that feel? Like it's just not one of those things that we done. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> no, I mean, I mean sexy front lady and principal rump shaker Sasha, Oren on the bass and Robot bringing the beats. Together they are the formidable trio Jacuzzi, coming from Berlin to play exclusively live for Notion and Bacardi here tonight. We're mightily excited. So you're fresh from releasing your second album, Blitz and Ass. Um, there's a song that I'm particularly fond of, Rainbow Colored Rizzla. Can you please tell me something about that? Okay, it's like the first ever pro-gay tolerant sort of reggae crunk influence track. I used to do grind parties in Berlin, organize stuff like that, and I was always really shocked at like some of the MCs would come to Berlin, we'd take them to clubs, and Berlin is like a really sort of multi-sexual city, you'll go to like clubs and there are, you know, it's just a really open gay scene or whatever, and sometimes they were like really shocked. So like 19 year old kids from London being like a metropolis, and you would think, it's 2008 now, or it was 2004, 2005 then, how can they be so shocked by something, you know? And in a way, it was sort of like coming out of this dancehall culture, which that sort of vibe was coming from, so I just thought I'd write about it. And on your MySpace, you say what inspires you is everything that bubbles. So I want to know, what is bubbling right now? For me, like this kid Rusty is really ru hot right now. I really dig his stuff. Yeah. And uh, what else? Flying Lotus is hot. Um, yeah, I listen to a lot of old Black Sabbath, you know, still like that shit. So I don't know, Oren, what about you? Uh, my, my temperature is bubbling actually <laughs> right now. Yeah. And musically for you guys, where do you think you're going to go next? I'm not sure yet. I think there's never really a plan. And that's the nice thing because we are sort of three fidgety sort of individuals who we made the same kind of music for more than three tracks would already be bored and it's it's really open you know and uh that's the nice thing about it
good flat. Basically, we're trying to uh, burn the candle at both ends. We're kind of been having fun with the, the festivities and then getting up early, getting up the slopes, Brilliant. having a bit of fun up there, and then uh, then we find ourselves on the Friday night. A little bit tighter to be honest. I saw, oh, like, in fact, show your, your, your t shirt to the camera. A bit of that then. I saw your comrade today. But in fact, that wasn't you, was it? That man on the snowboard today. Oh, really? That wasn't me. So, would you have a message for that man on the snowboard in a that man t shirt? Get him out, man. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. But I wasn't the dude in the snowboard. That is fantastic. Crafty Cuts, James Abelia and Nick Fanciulli are just a few of the people who have been playing here tonight. Snow Bombing 2008. Check out the igloo. In Mean Girls, who has breasts that tell when it's raining? Janice, Cardi, Gretchen or Karen? Very specific skill set to have there. Who was it? Oh, it was Karen Smith with her intelligent breasts. Good. Good. Exhale there as you breathe in now, reaching the right arm forwards. Breathe out, sending the right arm to the right side. Bending left knee, right hand grabs left foot, ankle or shin. Bend elbow and knee to get your quad stretched there. Breathe into your left quad. Now, option to begin to lift the hand, the foot, the heart, coming into your balance here. Shining heart, maybe smiling or relaxing your face, breathing deeply in and out. Inhale, lifting up, exhaling, one more breath in and relax, hand and knee. Open the hands, open the fingers, think of these as channels for receiving energy. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, ease yourself up, land back, warrior two. The sunlight danced on the clear blue sea. The waves hit the beach so wild and free. Help me, please help me, called a voice from the sea. There's a bag on my head and I just can't get free. Along the whale's back, the mouse swiftly sped and pulled off the bag from the mighty whale's head. Oh dear, said Harry. This seems strange to me. What on earth is a bag doing in the sea? Petit escargot porte sur son dos Sa maison est Aussitôt qu'il pleut Il est tout heureux Il sauve sa tête Bing, we need your help. Okay, d'accord. <laughs> Can you please say 
bonjour, bonjour, yes. But can you say it to Ponzo so that we can wake him up? 